<laughs> Look at the boys, they're just... <laughs> Getting tag team here. They're like, no, we want to eat it out of the container. Now that'll make a great thumbnail, Marlene. Who's that? <laughs> Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. My name's Mark. Uh, my wife Tara is just coming down the stairs here. Uh, and we're uh, coming out to feed the animals treats. Uh, Marlene, one of our volunteers, has just showed up. I haven't filmed this in a little while and it's, uh, it's fun to see the animals' reactions. Treats for the animals! Morning! We got, we got apples and peas and Broccoli. Oh, broccoli. I was going to call it cauliflower. Blueberries. <laughs> it's the green one. <laughs> Get Daisy her carrots. Daisy likes her carrots. <laughs> well, I think they all like their carrots. It's like a little vending machine or a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> uh, Oh, sorry, Meadow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Levi. Levi's got some in his hair I'm for later. Sorry. <laughs> Shake your head. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll be more careful. <laughs> oh, that's a dandelion there, Daisy. <laughs> uh, oh, sure. Levi's yeah. <laughs> got two broccoli in his hair. He'll save them for later. <laughs> Shake him out, Levi. Shake your head. Uh, Billy's getting uh, food aggressive. So with all the water we've been getting, uh, Tara has expanded or deepened the, uh, the swale across the driveway here uh, just to get the water out. So she's a little bit of cleanup to do here. Uh, but this is a low point over here. Uh, so we noticed that it was kind of backing up in the grass. Uh, so it seems to be flowing much better. There's a couple little tweaks we need to do. Uh, over at the fence, where we have David and Daphne, over along the edge there. Um, she has done this uh, swale here that runs out along the uh, fence line. So it's still low in this area, so when it rained the other day, we did eventually get some water in here. All right, so it's time for Sheldon and the kids. Hi, Sheldon! <laughs> Hi! Hi, Lexi! Hi, David! Hi, David! Ritzy. Ritzy's coming in. Get some berries, some blueberries. Onyx, the other day, we noticed that uh, Onyx has always been very quiet and timid. Uh, but Tara was out here the other day, and uh, she kind of ran along the edge to jump over, I guess, some puddles or something. And Onyx was right there just bouncing along. 
So it was the cutest thing. That's good to see. Yeah. That's good to see. <laughs> She's usually so quiet. <laughs> what are you doing, David? Go get some treats. Go get some treats. <laughs> oh, look at the little babies came out. <laughs> oh, there's a few. There's Fernando over there. <laughs> Daphne's working on a carrot. <laughs> it's a big carrot, isn't it, Daphne? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so in the aerial uh, video I did at the beginning, um, I didn't notice that there were, um, that the ducklings were in there. So as I was editing, I noticed that um, I think there's, 19 ducklings in total and uh, it's cute to watch them run around and catch flies that's what they do at this age so there's three there uh, the other ones must be with uh, another mom they tend to, to babysit there's another one right there so are you pulling on my pants again David <laughs> Hi, David. You want some peas? Sheldon, you don't like the peas? <laughs> he says, I want the carrots. That's my jacket. Have a carrot. Want a carrot? You'll take a carrot. That's good enough. <laughs> you want an apple? Uh, nice bite size. I guess the uh, the peas don't have uh, have a smell to them, but once you crunch into them. You like apple, eh, Sheldon? Do you want to help yourself? <laughs> you want some Lexi? Oh, Sheldon. <laughs> he says mine. <laughs> no, you can't eat the bowl. The bowl's plastic, but. <sighs> I have peas, but. Don't spit it, Java. This is for rabbits. So Blackie is eaten. The alpaca <gasps> are finishing up their breakfast. This is for Henry. Oh, Henry's got a friend. Jolene. No. Jolene. What? Yeah. Oh, no. Now you want to stiff me? Are you all done? <laughs> Jasper was like nibbling yeah. my finger. Henry, would you like a cantaloupe? <gasps> All right, like alpacas are ready to go. There you go. They're lined up. Have your cantaloupe. <laughs> Hi, Java. No. Ah, uh, treat time. Wait. Not, not yet. You gotta wait, wait for it. Yeah, I'll bring it up. No. He says, I smell those I bring peas. It out to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's contemplating. He says, well, if I leave, am I going to get them? There we go. Follow the girls. No, you follow the girls. Good boy. There you go, Piper. Oh. There we go. Piper. Is Petey out? Yep. Oh, Petey must have snuck Petey out. Petey went out first. Okay, I missed out. Okay. Oh, Jolene likes it. <laughs> yes, I'm bringing yours, Turbo. And real chair. Yeah, Henry, Henry and Jolene. So Henry's got a, a girlfriend he hangs out with. Blueberry. Melon. Oopsie. <laughs> oh. Is he letting her have them? He is. He's like, I'll eat the one on the ground. Such a gentleman. Oh, she just threw one out. She's like, here, you can have this one. <laughs> there you go, Henry. Good boy. Uh, There's some more. Oh, oh, there goes one. Oh. <laughs> Java's still looking in. He's like, are you sure you're coming out? <laughs> Cantaloupe for the girls. Love their cantaloupe.
Okay, so we had some new animals come in this past week. Uh, so it was a, a seizure from a property. Uh, and this is who we have here. So this is Mama. And where are the babies? There they are. <laughs> Yes, if anybody's looking for a bunny to adopt, uh, we have a few cute ones here. Hi. <laughs> uh, how many is there total? Seven? Uh, Eleven. Oh, there's a. And then plus three. Oh, okay, so there's more. So then there's more hiding somewhere else. Yeah. Oh yes, Edgar and Bon Bon. So they're uh, hanging out in all of our hay. Uh, so when we um, when we filled up the barn with our hay, we took all the older hay uh, and moved it into here. Uh, and uh, Edgar and Bun Bun seem to enjoy be enjoying it. We had them outside, but of course with the rain coming and going, they've been kind of in and out. Uh, so they're in here now, and they tend to uh, they, they seem to love uh, love being in here. All the little hiding spots, hanging out, surrounded by food. Uh, they're inside. And blueberries for the other girls. All right, I gotta run the gauntlet. Run the gauntlet. <laughs> Hang on, Tiana. This way. No, this way. Outside. No, outside. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my god, Turbo. No, this is a camera, Jasper. <laughs> I don't have the treats. Uh, <laughs> this is treat for everybody. Yeah. Not just for you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Look at the boys, they're just... <laughs> Getting tag teamed here. They're like, no, we want to eat it out of the container. That's Turbo's trick. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Turbo's usually the one that uh, that drops the container out of Turbo. her hands. <laughs> okay, I'll get your piece. Just a minute. This is for everybody. No. Oh, boy. Yeah, so they have a container of peas. I'll get yours. Just two seconds. <laughs> You'll have to eat off the ground for uh, for a few moments. Yes, Jasper. <laughs> uh, all right. So everybody's got uh, well, everybody except for the alpaca because they need their their special out of the bowl treats, obviously. Oh, there, Jasper's like, well, I guess I'll have to settle and eat off the ground like an animal. <laughs> Uh, so everybody's scrounging for what they can get. It's kind of like an Easter egg hunt. And uh, also the ducks. The ducks are more interested in the grains, I think. Tara put out some grains for the birds. Oh, and here comes stage two. Yeah, Java's right there. <laughs> And Turbo, of course, is right underneath. <laughs> you spit at me and there'll be no more peace. Yeah. You hear that? Well, Paula's the spitter. She's the, the light brown one in the back. Brown one's <laughs> but she usually spits at the other alpaca, not at humans. <laughs> Now that'll make a great thumbnail, Marlene. <laughs> Whose nose is that? <laughs> oh, 
on my heels. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bronwyn, I'm sorry. Feeding frenzy. Yeah. Java's got a good position. It's like I'll just over do the, the shoulder. Do the over the shoulder. Over the shoulder pee holder. <laughs> oh, turbo. You don't want them off the grip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so polite, Shanzi. <laughs> Yeah, Bronwyn's, uh, Bronwyn's right in there, too, yeah, underneath. I, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, there you go. Leave me alone. Fernando. Fernando. He's chasing Mama. Hey. <laughs> oh, Petey and Piper. Turbo. <laughs> uh, Marlene gets all the attention. Okay, can we let Turbo have a chance? There you go, Beth. Yeah, tur Turbo's like, ah, it's, it's bad to be short. Oh, there we go. Now he, once he gets it down, this reminds me of what Hannibal used to do. Once, uh, once Hannibal had a, uh, a grasp of it, him and Turbo worked, uh, worked in conjunction with each other to Turbo, get as many around. peas as possible. <laughs> Don't put my pants down again. No, don't eat the plastic. That's not good for you. So we have uh, two of the uh, kid goats leaving this week. Uh, so Petunia is two, which Petunia is right over there. Uh, her two kids, uh, Mabel, and it's Mabel or Maple, and Myrtle, which uh, is one, and I want to say this one, but I think that's Chandler. No, Chandler's gray. No, yeah, it would be these two. Uh, one, two. So those okay. would be the two going. They, they change, their coloring changes as they get older. You had lots, Bradman? Good girl. That's a good uh, so all the kids are spoken for, uh, with the exception of Tara wants to keep this little girl here. Yay! Yay! So, um, this one, I think she's just going to name Snow like her grandmother. Uh, and that is, um, that is Holly's, not Holly, um, Billie Billy Jean. Billie Jean's baby, isn't it? Billie Jean's baby, uh, which is, uh, right there. Are you done? And of course, Billie Jean's mother was Snow. Oh, what did he do? I stepped on my foot. <laughs> yeah, big galoot. Okay, I think you pretty yeah, much emptied them. Turbo and Tinker were bottle babies here years ago. And Turbo got his name because he was the fastest to the bottle. <laughs> and, of course, you can see he uh, hasn't... hasn't uh, it's okay, it's all in. Hasn't now. changed. There you go. <laughs> Bronwyn, you want the last couple? Uh... Uh, she's uh, checking out the floor or the ground, the floor, whatever it is. <laughs> there we go. Mm. All right, so here's the pond with the duckweed, and uh, it looks like this uh, the conduit's kind of filled up with sticks. So we'll have to clear that out. But uh, the water comes in from the back. Uh, and then flows into the conduit here. And of course, you can't even see the conduit on this side. So 
it's uh, it's getting backed up at the far end of the trench uh, where it's supposed to be flowing out but uh, the ponies have walked over the trench and kind of collapsed it a bit so we have to clean that out uh, and I found the ducklings so we have uh, a bunch of ducklings from uh, a few different mamas uh, but this one has kind of adopted and taken over I think she's only had about four uh, but what the Muscovy ducks do is they'll go and, and hide uh, in an area and lay their eggs. Uh, they're very good at that. And then all of a sudden they pop out with all these ducklings. <laughs> uh, so if you look closely, you can see some are older than others. Some are smaller, some are larger. Uh, so she's adopted a few different clutches. <sighs> hey kids. So those of you who have been watching us for, well, at least a year now, uh, you'll know that last year we finally got a tractor. Uh, now, Tara and I have been discussing it for quite a few years, and we thought, wow, oh, you know, we can always rent a tractor if something comes up. Um, you know, we don't really need one. Um, but then I finally decided, okay, let's just get it, because, you know, we're not getting any younger. Um, we've got to preserve our bodies, uh, so uh, so I went and I bought a Kubota. Uh, and then the bucket just has a smooth edge bucket. So of course, you know, do you get the smooth edge bucket? Do you get the tooth bucket for digging? Uh, so I found online there was uh, a company, uh, Tractor uh, Accessories, I believe it is, uh, .ca, attachments, tractorattachments.ca, um, and they have uh, attachments that you can bolt on to existing pieces of your tractor. So uh, I went and I um, got the teeth. So uh, Tigger here, which we're calling our little tractor, little Kubota, um, now has uh, a set of dentures. <laughs> so so it just bolts on uh, and um, there's the uh, the welded pieces here that grab a hold of the lip. Uh, and uh, if we don't need it, it's just uh, one, two bolts, uh, and then this piece just slides right out. So we are just loading up some, uh, some poles, some wood fence posts, because what we're going to do is we're going to raise up the pony shelter uh, onto those, and then we are going to move it out and over. is the house there or the shelter uh, but this one tree right here is dead <laughs> so if we're going to be moving the shelter out and over this way we should probably cut that one down well but where's it going well i would say if we can get it to go that way that way that way
want them to because they don't. Whoa, what was that? The top oh, one. That's, what was that? Oh, it's fine. Oh, does that sure open up this side, though? It's fine. Like when I come in to snowblow? Dirt on my face? Well, you, got, you got the mud. Yeah, it feels well, better, eh? Off your head. It's not as like sweaty. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Every time I look at you, I thought it was a bug. There we go. That looks just good. covered in oh, his yeah. shavings. Wow. <laughs> well, it'll be a shower for that. Yeah. Okay, so now we have lots of room in here. So Tara was just mentioning uh, now when she comes in with the snowblower in the wintertime, comes in here, she'll actually be able to snowblow it out instead of snow blowing it into this area uh, so we're gonna put some gravel uh, in here we're first gonna let it dry out a little bit but you can see where the pads were so they were over in this area here uh, so it's just going to open it up yep, you yeah do it. it's weird because it's a slight angle maybe two and a half feet yes. yeah but it just it really I can move hey I can get off my tractor without shocking my butt yeah, yeah. I can, you know like it opens it right up yeah. And then our winter wall goes across here, so. Yeah. And then of course this is the I area. I might put it here this year. This is the, the area where all the hay is. is. The skunk, I could smell. I think there's a skunk in here. I could smell something skunky. Hmm. Uh, the ponies uh, weren't an issue. Billy uh, was an issue for a time being. I don't know where they are now. He gave up and went out. Did he give up? And then the tree. Uh, so we're gonna, just gonna leave this here. This can come down anytime. It's a lot safer to drop. Uh, than uh, it was with all of the branches on it. So when it actually opens up this area quite nicely. Uh, and then of course we had to move the water dish as well. So just move it slightly out of the way. It's an automatic water uh, and runs over to this. So that is it for another video. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed it, maybe learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, like always, please leave them down below in the comment section. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Have a wonderful week, Bye. day. And from all of us here at the Ten Acre Woods, uh, have a wonderful one. Bye-bye. <laughs>